Polygon data sets that should form a precisely aligned boundary often, for one reason or another, have gaps or overlap slightly. And these boundaries might be within one data set or be different data sets that border each other. And one way to remove these gaps and overlaps is to use the ArcGIS Pro Integrate tool. And it's a powerful tool, but has some drawbacks and won't work in all cases. And we'll look at those later. So if we look at a multiple layer example first, uh, we want to align the polygon layer pink to the blue polygon layer. We have a small gap between the shapes. And uh, I'll turn on this midpoint line in the gap just to show how this tool works. So let's open the tool. So from the analysis ribbon, open up the geoprocessing tools. Then in the search box, uh, type integrate and open the integrate tool. Then drag the layers we want to align into the input property boxes. And you can use any number of layers. So two layers in this case. Uh, now, if we go to the environments tab, we can define the XY tolerance. So any vertices that are within this tolerance will be aligned. Now, if you leave this box blank, the default tolerance will be used. And in fact, the documentation recommends leaving it blank. But then the value used will be very small. So you might find nothing happens when you run the tool. If you do input a value, it should be the minimum value you need for reasons we'll discuss later. If we go back to the parameters tab, in the rank box, we can define which polygon we want to move to close the gap or overlap. The layer with a lower rank will move. A lower rank is a larger number. So if I type the number one and two, two is the lower rank, so that will be the layer that will move. Now, if we run the tool, we can see the pink layer has moved and the gap is closed. If we undo to roll the process back and reverse the ranking, so the blue is now the lower rank layer. Run again, and now the blue layer moves to close the gap. So the lower ranked or higher number will always move. So if we undo again, and if we remove all the rankings, so they are blank and run, now both layers move and they meet in the middle and overlaps work in exactly the same way. We can see that if we run the tool on a single layer. So this layer has two polygons that has a gap at the bottom and overlaps at the top. So if we add the layer to the integrate tool, and if we examine the gap and overlap with the measure tool, and we can specify the tolerance. Of course, there is no ranking here as we're dealing with polygons within a single layer. So now run the tool. Now the gap and overlap have been removed, but the overlap still exists where the overlap exceeds the tolerance. So let's look at where this tool will not work. The tool works best when distances between the gap or overlap is very small, ideally smaller than the examples that have been shown here. The tool moves vertices to share a location if they fall within the tolerance. This is the case even within a single polygon. So this can have the effect of generalizing a polygon. So generalizing is simplifying a polygon by removing vertices and therefore potentially losing detail, which is probably not what you want. So to see an example of this, if we look at this polygon, which has a lot of vertices close together on the curves, and we define a tolerance which is greater than the distance between these points, now, if we run the tool, now the polygon is generalized. The gap is removed, but the boundary has lost some detail. So we just need to be aware of when the tool is appropriate to use. Very slight overlaps and gaps are good, but anything larger, and you probably won't get what you want. In that case, other options to get nicely aligned boundaries would be the remove overlap tool 
and the align features tool on, uh, tools on the edit ribbon.